once upon a time in a kingdom called Green Valley. Royal dinner at King Bikrama's palace tonight. Come one, come all. Did you hear? The king is hosting a royal dinner tonight. Again? But only last week his majesty hosted a lavish banquet. Oh, what amazing food we had. Pulao, laddus, pirni. I am still smacking my lips, thinking of last week's royal feast. Huh, and every time there's a royal dinner, you eat as if it's the last time you're ever going to eat. May God bless our beloved king. What royal parties he throws. But an old man in the kingdom wasn't happy with the news at all. Sheer wastage. Sheer madness. Wastage? Madness? What are you saying? Of course, if these parties continue like this, there will be a time when our kingdom will have neither food nor water. These are the matters for kings to worry about. Why are you getting all worked up? If we don't worry now, we shall repent later. He doesn't know how to enjoy and he doesn't let us enjoy either. What does he know of royal feasts? He too would be seen rubbing his tummy if he came to the royal feast once. If only he had the time from watching the skies and wandering about. <laughs> <laughs> A few weeks later. Did you hear? King Bikrama has summoned the entire kingdom in the palace ground. Yes, yes. But why? Don't know. Let's go and see. What could it be? Another royal feast maybe? Shh! The king is here. All hail! O oh, great king! <clears throat> For quite some time now, I have been thinking who could assume command of the land after me. And today, I declare my son Durjoy to be my successor. There will be a week-long celebration before his coronation ceremony. All hail the new king Durjoy! Long live the new King Durjoy! But the old man, of course, didn't think it right. His Majesty, I am an ordinary farmer. But I can tell you what you are doing is not right. The celebrations will exhaust our resources and we will have nothing in a few years from now. The clouds have stopped coming to the valley and the streams are drying up. If we are not careful in using our resources, there could be a drought in the kingdom. How dare you not obey a king's wish? I command your banishment from my kingdom right this moment. O oh, royal courtiers, throw this old man out of the kingdom. Meanwhile, all sorts of celebrations happened over the next week, next month, and the entire next year. Oh, what delicious food! Oh, such tasty drinks! Oh, my tummy will explode if I ate more. A year later, the entire country was reveling in the rains, but not even a drop was visible in King Bikrama's kingdom. Our cattle are dying of thirst and hunger. Nothing grows in this dry, cracked earth. Why doesn't the king do anything? What can he do? Has he any knowledge of nature's ways? We should have listened to the old man. One day, the people of Green Valley saw the old man walking towards the palace. Please help us! Save us from this drought. Come, follow me. Meanwhile, inside the prayer room of the royal palace... Oh God! Please don't be angry. Please, take away your curse from my kingdom. Please give us rain. Please forgive me. I didn't pay heed to your advice. And look what's happened to the kingdom. I beg your forgiveness. I forgive you, dear king. You have now understood the value of food and water. A little late though, but don't worry. I have a solution. Come with me. And the king along with all the people of the kingdom, followed the old man to the edge of the kingdom. I dug this pond up and saved rain water for the people of Green Valley. Water is priceless. 
Water is life. And I didn't want to waste it. I haven't seen a person as wise as you. From now on, you will manage the affairs of the kingdom. Would you agree to be my prime minister? Wow! wow, wow. What, what a brilliant, brilliant idea. idea! And the next year, as expected, the dark clouds came and burst open into rains. <laughs>